How's going everyone? I'm gonna try to explain this guy how to save the position of multiple draggable objects. I answered this here but now I had time so I can create a new project. Let's name this card example. And let me change this to English. And let's get set in the properties just a little bit. What okay, so Let's make this a little small. Uh, and everything. It's okay. Uh, this hasn't changed at all. Mm, what? Why? 341 I don't know what's going on here Okay, okay It's fine So uh, Let's add some sprites uh, let me check if in the asset store uh, there is some cards. Card, cards. Nah. Nah. There is no card here. I don't know what is this. Lord, the bike. Or oh, maybe this. A little this one this one is good mm. go out yep Why is this happening? The mask is right, but this? I don't know why. It's not the same size. Oh, sorry, this is Spanish. Uh, let's change this to game scene. So we keep things logic. Okay. Uh, let me add at the beginning. we are going to center the camera here pick 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 in this object on the default layer and default camera
Let's check it out. Okay. So now we have the camera centered on this card. Oh, there is a lot of them here. Okay. So we are going to add the draggable object uh, behavior. Uh, do check against the object collision mask. Yes, is fine. Um, even we can add a structure. Let's name this car. And we are going to add three children's one for ID, one for position X, and one for position Y. The three of them as a number. So now what we can do is to duplicate the same sprite, change the animation, and change the ID. So this is going to be the two, this is going, or maybe this is going to be the one, and this, just to give things logic, if the animation is zero, his ID is the same as the animation. And let me check this. You can move the car, but it's not coming back to his to its origin what is we are going to intend here let me change this uh, maybe 4 so now we have to 0, 1 2 And three. One thing we can do here is take this value, copy and paste here. I don't know why. Is the decimals I want to be perfect one three six one three six so we can get these values and paste here the others twelve <coughs> but we are not going to do this for each one of them. What we are going to do is to create a group. Uh, this is layer. This is instance. This is group. Uh, let me arrange this a little. Okay. So now we add a group, rename it cards, and add the card sprite. So we are going to rename this to so everything has logic here okay so now we have our group and instead of copy and paste every 
x and y and paste here in our events we are going to add a for each we are going to say this group for each instance on this group what we want to do is set the variable card dot uh, let's and let me show you something if we if we do this here the variable exists so it's easy for us to make this position x is equal to card dot x okay let's uh, change now this to card rule this to card group because if we try to assign now let's try to assign the post y if we try to assign to a group directly card group you can see it doesn't recognize that variable which really exists in the object I don't know why it's supposed mm, in a group all the sprite had had to have the same variables but it's not recognizing the variables here so we do this and here we do card card dot y save and later we change this to the group we want to affect so now let me disable this sorry and we are going to run and only these variables are going to be populated these are not this not this not let's check it out so we have our four cards and this is the structure as you can see the, the x position 120 136 but here is nothing and then one of them which is assigned manually by us here we have 12 136 which are the same values here and the others are not populated but at the moment as we activate these events all the cards all the variables of that cards are going to be populated let's check it out so now we have one two three four or zero one two and three
now we have the three with this value the zero let me check this three zero with this one with this and two with these values and since we are running this always if we change the position of the car right now uh, where is the debugger so the two is now 93 85 we refresh and since we move the position is refreshed so now knowing this we are going to run this repeat when we start the scene so this way we store the position X and position Y only once only one time when we start the scene so the position of this zero is going to be 12 136 and this is going to be 48 and this is going to be 84 and this is going to be 120 so knowing this we are going to make another for each here maybe we can do it without a for each but I think for this example it's, it's okay now let me change this to start and these two always just to keep the thing logic works. <coughs> Sorry. So now we are going to repeat a for each of this card. And what we want to do here. Uh, um, let's say if card uh, drag invert I mean if he's not moving by the mouse okay this is is not moving we want to guard position equal guard dot variable card dot pass x we copy this we paste here and we change the x to y and when we finish this we change here to the card group Uh, this is going to be card root no let me take this uh, card root card post card root Car post, car group, car post. I don't know. I'm not really sure of this. But let's check it out. Uh, so if we are not dragging the car, we change the position of the car to the original position. That is say when we start here. 
let's check it out so here I move and when I drop the card is coming back to his position and I think that's it uh, if I really understand the question here so that's the way you can easily save the initial position of the car and even 